To see the right and not to do it is cowardice. Virtuous people often revenge themselves for the constraints to which they submit by the boredom which they inspire. He who acts with a constant view to his own advantage will be much murmured against. The superior man is distressed by the limitations of his ability. He is not distressed by the fact that men do not recognize the ability that he has. I slept and dreamt life is beauty. I woke and found life is duty. To be wronged is nothing, unless you continue to remember it. If you are the smartest person in the room, then you are in the wrong room. Act with kindness, but do not expect gratitude. Worry not that no one knows you. Seek to be worth knowing. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away small stones. Think of tomorrow. The past can't be mended. Respect yourself, and others will respect you. When it is obvious that the goals cannot be reached, don't adjust the goals. Adjust the action steps. Imagination is more important than knowledge. By nature, men are nearly alike. By practice, they get to be wide apart. The essence of knowledge is, having it, to use it. Fine words and an insinuating appearance are seldom associated with true virtue. One joy dispels a hundred cares. Anyone can find the switch after the lights are on. Study the past, if you would define the future. Never contract friendship with a man that is not better than thyself. Our greatest glory is not in never falling but in rising every time we fall. Learning without thought is labor lost. Thought without learning is perilous. He who knows all the answers, has not been asked all the questions. Those who cannot, forgive others break the bridge over which they themselves must pass. Those who know the truth, are not equal to those who love it. The superior man thinks always of virtue. The common man thinks of comfort. Learn as if you were not reaching your goal, and as though you were scared of missing it. We have two lives, and the second begins, when we realize we only have one. An oppressive government, is more to be feared than a tiger. Do not impose on others what you yourself do not desire. Only the wisest and stupidest of men never change. The superior man acts before he speaks, and afterwards speaks according to his action. The man who says he can, and the man who says he cannot, are both correct. Your life is what your thoughts make it. Real knowledge is to know the extent of one's ignorance. The man who asks a question is a fool for a minute. The man who does not ask is a fool for life. When you see a good person, think of becoming like her slash him. When you see someone not so good, Reflect on your own weak points. All people are the same. Only their habits differ. Learn avidly. Question it repeatedly. Analyze it carefully. Then put what you have learned into practice intelligently. Success depends upon previous preparation. And without such preparation there is sure to be failure. The superior man does not, even for the space of a single meal, 
act contrary to virtue, in moments of haste, he cleaves to it. In seasons of danger, he cleaves to it. The will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential. These are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Go before the people with your example, and be laborious in their affairs. The journey with 1,000 miles begins with one step. Choose a job you love, and you will never have to work a day in your life. You are what you think. Looking at small advantages prevents great affairs from being accomplished. The superior man makes the difficulty to be overcome his first interest. Success only comes later. If you make a mistake and do not correct it, this is called a mistake. Education breeds confidence. Confidence breeds hope. Hope breeds peace. To go beyond is as wrong as to fall short. When we see persons of worth, we should think of equaling them. When we see persons of a contrary character, we should turn inwards and examine ourselves. A superior man is modest in his speech but exceeds in his actions. They must often change who would remain constant in happiness and wisdom. Be strict with yourself, but least reproachful of others and complaint is kept afar. When anger rises, think of the consequences. If you think in terms of a year, plant a seed. If in terms of ten years, plant trees, and if in terms of one hundred years, teach the people. If you look into your own heart, and you find nothing wrong there, what is there to worry about? What is there to fear? It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. What is a friend? A single soul dwelling in two bodies, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. Hope is a waking dream. No great mind has ever existed without a touch of madness. Happiness depends upon ourselves. Anybody can become angry, that is easy. But to be angry with the right person, and to the right degree and at the right time, and for the right purpose, and in the right way, that is not within everybody's power, and is not easy. Excellence is never an accident. It is always the result of high intention, sincere effort and intelligent execution, it represents the wise choice of many alternatives, choice, not chance, determines your destiny. A friend to all is a friend to none. Wishing to be friends is quick work, but friendship is a slow ripening fruit. Happiness is the meaning and the purpose of life. The whole aim and end of human existence. Those who educate children well are more to be honored than they who produce them, for these only gave them life. Those the art of living well. Patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Those who know, do. Those that understand, teach. To perceive is to suffer. He who is overcome, his fears will truly be free. The educated differ from the uneducated, as much as the living differ from the dead. Whosoever is delighted in solitude, is either a wild beast or a god. I count him braver, who overcomes his desires than him, who conquers his enemies, 
for the hardest victory is over self. Poverty is the parent of revolution, and crime. The aim of art is to represent, not the outward appearance of things, but their inward significance. It is not enough to win a war, it is more important to organize the peace. The antidote for 50 enemies is one friend. The high-minded man must care, more for the truth than for what people think. Pleasure in the job puts perfection in the work. To write well, express yourself like the common people, but think like a wise man. One swallow does not make a summer, neither does one fine day. Similarly one day or brief time of happiness, does not make a person entirely happy. Learning is not child's play, we cannot learn without pain. Man is by nature a social animal, an individual who is unsocial naturally, and not accidentally is either beneath our notice, or more than human. Society is something that precedes the individual. Anyone who either cannot lead the common life, or is so self-sufficient as not to need to, and therefore does not partake of society, is either a beast or a god. Man is by nature a social animal, an individual who is unsocial naturally, and not accidentally is either beneath our notice or more than human. The wise man does not expose himself needlessly to danger, since there are few things for which he cares sufficiently, but he is willing, in great crises, to give even his life knowing that under certain conditions it is not worthwhile to live. He is of a disposition to do men's service, though he is ashamed to have a service done to him. To confer a kindness is a mark of superiority, to receive one is a mark of subordination. He does not take part in public displays. He is open in his dislikes and preferences. He talks and acts frankly, because of his contempt for men and things. He is never fired with admiration. Since there is nothing great in his eyes, he cannot live in complacence with others, except it be friend. Complacence is the characteristic of a slave. He never feels malice, and always forgets and passes over injuries. He is not fond of talking. It is no concern of his that he should be blamed. He does not speak evil of others even of his enemies, unless it be to themselves. His carriage is sedate, his voice deep, his speech measured. He is not given to hurry, for he is concerned about only a few things. He is not prone to vehemence, for he thinks nothing very important. A shrill voice, and hasty steps come to a man through care. He bears the accidents of life with dignity and grace, making the best of his circumstances, like a skillful general who marshals his limited forces, with the strategy of war. He is his own best friend, and takes delight in privacy whereas the man of no virtue, or ability is his own worst enemy and is afraid of solitude. Happiness does not consist in amusement. In fact, it would be strange if our end were amusement, and if we were to labor and suffer hardships all, our life long merely to amuse ourselves. The happy life is regarded as a life in conformity with virtue. It is a life which involves effort and is not spent in amusement. A tyrant must put on the appearance of uncommon devotion to religion. Subjects are less apprehensive of illegal treatment from a ruler, whom they consider God-fearing and pious. On the other hand, 
they do less easily move against him, believing that he has the gods on his side. Instead of worrying about what people say of you, why not spend time trying to accomplish something they will admire? Most of the important things in the world have been accomplished by people who have kept on trying when there seemed to be no hope at all. If you want to conquer fear, do not sit home and think about it. Go out and get busy. Fear does not exist anywhere except in the mind. The successful man will profit from his mistakes and try again in a different way. Most of us have far more courage than we ever dreamed we possessed. If you want to be enthusiastic, act enthusiastic. Take a chance. All life is a chance. The man who goes farthest is generally the one who willing to do and dare. Do the best as you can. When fate hands you a lemon, make lemonade. People who manage to take advantage of the mistakes that he did, and will try again to perform in a different way. Feeling story for yourself, and your present condition, is not only a waste of energy but the worst habit you could possibly have. Develop success from failures. Discouragement and failure are two of the surest stepping stones to success. First ask yourself what is the worst that can happen? Then prepare to accept it. Then prox to improve on the worst. Those convinced against their will are of the same opinion still. Our fatigue is often caused not by work, but by worry, frustration and resentment. Remember that unjust criticism is often a disguised compliment. You've got to dance like there's nobody watching, love like you'll never be hurt, sing like there's nobody listening, and live like it's heaven on earth. Never regret a day in your life. Good days bring you happiness, and bad days give you experience. Time is what we want most, and what we use worst. Better three hours too soon, than a minute too late. Everyone thinks of changing the world, but no one thinks of changing himself. Happiness is not something ready-made. It comes from your own actions. You can either experience the pain of discipline, or the pain of regret. The choice is yours. Words can inspire, thoughts can provoke, but only action truly brings you closer to your dreams. Do something today, that your future self will thank you for. Be strong enough to let go, and wise enough to wait for what you deserve. Whatever you are, be a good one. Live as if you were to die tomorrow. Learn as if you were to live forever. When the pain of an obstacle is too great, challenge yourself to be stronger. Don't be upset when people reject you. Nice things are rejected all the time by people who can't afford them. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. Don't be afraid to give up the good to go for the great. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. Never stop learning because life never stops teaching. Take the risk or lose the chance. Success is going from failure to failure. Without losing your enthusiasm, you were born to win, but to be a winner, you must plan to win, prepare to win, and expect to win. Your mind is powerful. When you fill it with positive thoughts your whole world will change. Stop being afraid of what can go wrong and start being positive about what can go right. When thinking about life, remember this, no amount of guilt can change the past, and no amount of anxiety can change the future. A negative mind will never give you a positive life. Everything you can imagine is real. Impossible is just an opinion.
Don't stop when you're tired. Stop when you're done. A winner is a dreamer, who never gives up. Your only limit is your mind. Love yourself instead of loving the idea, of other people loving you. So many people who love you. Don't focus on the people who don't. It's an impossibility to be perfect, but it's possible to do the best. Don't be afraid of being different. Be afraid of being the same as everyone else. We have certainly created man in the best of stature. Loving yourself starts with liking yourself, which starts with respecting yourself, which starts with thinking of yourself in positive ways. Loving yourself isn't vanity, it's sanity. If you live for people's acceptance, you will die from their rejection. I am mine, before I am ever anyone else's. The only person who can pull me down is myself, and I'm not going to let myself pull me down anymore. We can easily forgive a child, who is afraid of the dark. The real tragedy of life is when men are afraid of the light. A good decision is based on knowledge, and not on numbers. Thinking, the talking of the soul with itself. There is no harm in repeating a good thing. Truth is the beginning of every good to the gods, and of every good to man. Knowledge without justice ought to be called cunning rather than wisdom. The first and greatest victory is to conquer yourself. To be conquered by yourself is of all things most shameful and vile. Wealth and poverty. One is the parent of luxury and indolence, and the other of meanness and viciousness, and both of discontent. An empty vessel makes the loudest sound, so they that have the least wit are the greatest babblers. Opinion is the medium between knowledge and ignorance. If a man neglects education, he walks lame to the end of his life. All men are by nature equal, made all of the same earth by one workman. Books give a soul to the universe, wings to the mind, flight to the imagination, and life to everything. He measure of a man, is what he does with power. The direction in which education, starts a man will determine his future in life. Wise men speak because they have something to say. Fools because they have to say something. Do not train a child to learn by force or harshness, but direct them to it by what amuses their minds, so that you may be better able to discover, with accuracy the peculiar bent of the genius of each. Bodily exercise, when compulsory, does no harm to the body, but knowledge which is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. Ideas are the source of all things. When two friends, like you and me, are in the mood to chat, we have to go about it in a gentler and more dialectical way. Dot by more dialectical. I mean not only that we give real responses, but that we base our responses solely on what the interlocutor admits that he himself knows. Knowledge becomes evil if the aim be not virtuous. A library of wisdom is more precious than all wealth. And all things that are desirable cannot be compared to it. 
Whoever therefore claims to be zealous of truth, of happiness, of wisdom or knowledge, must become a lover of books. No one is more hated than he who speaks the truth. And what, Socrates, is the food of the soul? Surely, I said, knowledge is the food of the soul. The untrained mind keeps up a running commentary, labeling everything, judging everything. Best to ignore that commentary. Don't argue or resist, just ignore. Deprived of attention and interest, this voice gets quieter, and eventually just shuts up. False words are not only evil in themselves, but they infect the soul with evil. Writing is the geometry of the soul. Necessity is the mother of invention. If people hold on to the belief, then there goes skepticism. However, if people have already started to hold on to skepticism, then there goes the belief. Some books should be tasted, some devoured, but only a few should be chewed and digested thoroughly. If a man will begin with certainties, he shall end in doubts, but if he will be content to begin with doubts, he shall end in certainties. Hope is a good breakfast, but it is a bad supper. A wise man will make more opportunities than he finds. Read not to contradict and confute, nor to believe and take for granted, nor to find talk and discourse, but to weigh and consider. Some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested, that is, some books are to be read only in parts, others to be read, but not curiously, and some few to be read wholly, and with diligence and attention. There is no exquisite beauty without some strangeness in the proportion. Imagination was given to man to compensate him for what he is not, a sense of humor to console him for what he is. Begin doing what you want to do now. We are not living in eternity. We have only this moment, sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. Man prefers to believe what he prefers to be true. Age appears best in four things, old wood to burn, old wine to drink, old friends to trust and old authors to read. Money is a great servant but a bad master. Wonder is the seed of knowledge. It is a sad fate for a man to die too well known to everybody else and still unknown to himself. The job of the artist is always to deepen the mystery. In order for the light to shine so brightly, the darkness must be present. Reading maketh a full man, and writing an exact man. And, therefore, if a man write little, he need have a present wit, and if he read little, he need have much cunning to seem to know which he doth not. Ipsa scientia potestas est. Knowledge itself is power. It is impossible to love and be wise. Read not to contradict and confute, nor to believe and take for granted, but to weigh and consider. In taking revenge, a man is but even with his enemy, but in passing it over, he is superior. There are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. If we are to achieve things never, before accomplished we must employ methods never before attempted. The general root of superstition namely, that men observe when things hit, and not when they miss, and commit to memory the one, and forget and pass over the other. The less people speak of their greatness, the more we think of it.
Champagne for my real friends, real pain for my sham friends. Some books are to be tasted, others to be swallowed, and some few to be chewed and digested, that is, some books are to be read only in parts, others to be read, but not curiously, and some few are to be read wholly, and with diligence and attention. Philosophy when superficially studied, excites doubt, when thoroughly explored, it dispels it. There is no comparison between that which is lost by not succeeding and that which is lost by not trying. Reading maketh a full man, conference a ready man, and writing an exact man.